Hey guys! Um, Alright, so by now you should have watched the previous introduction video about value. And the main things that I want you to remember or know about value are that value is an element of art. Value is basically how light or how dark a color is. And value, if used a certain way by adding shadows and highlights, can make your artwork look more realistic or more lifelike or just um, more three-dimensional. So the first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to make a value scale. A value scale helps an artist practice making different values, um, all the way from very, very dark to your medium tones, all the way to very light. So for this particular assignment, you're going to need a pencil, the ruler from your art kit. If you do not have a ruler, maybe you didn't pick up an art kit, then you can just use any type of straight edge. Um, another piece of paper or a piece of cardboard, anything that you can trace a straight edge. All right, and this is one of my examples. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. So to get started, the first thing I want you to do is put your name on the bottom of your paper. All right. The next thing is you're going to take your straight edge, and if you have a ruler from your art kit, you're going to notice that it's longer than your paper, and that's okay. Just move it down just a little bit. I'm going to turn it to where I can see the numbers. All right. These numbers represent an inch. That's a, a unit of measure. So I'm just gonna go here. Let's see, I think I'll go, we'll do seven. So from one to seven and then stop. That is seven inches, okay? So then I'm just gonna come around the other end and trace that in. There we go. And then I'm gonna come around here and trace other side of the ruler and stop right opposite of that. It's about 13 centimeters. Okay. And then just draw my straight line there. All right. Can you see that? Now I'm going to divide up this long rectangle into smaller um, rectangles or squares, similar to that. So I'm going to set my ruler back down. And I'm going to measure off one inch squares. So one, two, three. Let's see if you guys can make sure you all see that. Four, five, six, and then seven will be right here. And I can take my ruler and do the same thing at the top. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Okay, and then just connect your lines. All right. Next, I want you to write the word value, V-A-L-U-E, and then write the definition. So what was the definition? That's right. How light or how dark the color is. And I'm using a pencil, so I hope you guys can see that. Okay, good. All right, the first square that you're going to color in is going to be very dark. So you're going to press down hard with your pencil. The next square that you shade in is going to be a, a shade lighter. The next square that you shade in is going to be even a shade lighter than that. So that they are gradually going from very dark very very light in fact this last one doesn't even have anything in it I just left it white of the paper all right so the whole point is to gradually go from dark to light 
So you shouldn't have a super dark square <coughs> here, <coughs> excuse me, in the middle. All right, the very dark one would be at the end. Now then, I'm gonna color this for you, but I'm gonna do it really, really fast. value scale. So as you can see, I went all the way from very dark gradually to very light. And this helps us as an artist because now we can take this gradual um, progression from dark to light into something that we can draw. So this is a sphere and to draw the sphere you just draw a flat circle first and then basically you start shading in very dark and then you gradually go from that dark to that light, just like the value scale, except now you don't have these very direct places to put those values in. You just gradually go from dark to light. Now my um, circle looks more like a 3D object instead of just a flat shape. All right, so after you finish your value scale, then you can go on and um, draw a sphere or if you would like you could draw a cube or a cone or a cylinder at the end of this video i'm going to leave this picture up for you to look at and you can copy um, whichever item that you choose whichever form and add that to go along with your value scale so at the end of this um, assignment you will have a value scale and you will have a 3d form okay so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys get started on that i'll i'll, I'll see you guys later bye